Hello and welcome back to the Anime Club, the club where we talk about animes that we've been recently watching, viewing and enjoying. Let me know what you've been recently watching and enjoying, and if you've seen what I'm about to talk about, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Vinland Saga was on my list for a long time. I saw the hype behind it on TikTok and, and especially from season two coming out, I saw a lot of sort of little snippet clips. I tried to avoid it as much as possible, but I just saw it all over my For You page. I finally got round to it and I've just finished season one and I've not felt about a show in terms of the depth of character characters and different storylines and just everything of everything being unpredictable since Game of Thrones. Genuinely this this show gives me such Game of Thrones vibes from start to finish that I, I just I'm in love already. I'm so in love. From all the different characters and the different aspects of the show you've got this war going on between England and the Danes but then you've also got the different storylines of like Canute and Askeladd and, and obviously the main story line that we all probably care about being Thorfinn and trying to get his revenge for his dad. I really love the first couple episodes sort of seeing Thorfinn as a kid and just enjoying life and there's this looming feeling of you know the show isn't going to stay in this place, you know it's not going to go well and, and it, 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 it doesn't. The scene of Thor's fighting Askeladd's men at the beginning, <laughs> like, I mean I'm so sad that he had to die because I would love to see more fight scenes from Thor's or even like flashbacks because obviously he didn't fight towards the end. It's such an interesting character and concept and, and such a thing of it, it's got so much depth to it. He was this warrior, this great warrior, and everyone you mention his name to knows that he was such a great warrior, and yet he left that life for just peace and not killing, and and we have no enemies. I, I just love the whole thing, and, and I'm loving now, watching season one and, and obviously moving on to season two, seeing Thorfinn go through a similar journey of acceptance and learning. Thorfinn's development across season one is just... <laughs> Oh my god, he's, he's an animal. He is a beast. Just seeing him go from this innocent kid who can barely fight and wants to but doesn't know how to just killing people and the scene when they the the when Askeladd's charging at that wall and Thorfinn just goes straight through all of them and goes and gets I think it's like the general or, or the, the mayor or someone from the town and he just absolutely dominates everyone. The fact that he can go against people like Thorkel and win I mean, <laughs> that shows how good he is. Despite Asglad being essentially a bad guy and a bad character, he's, he's, not, he's not got great morals throughout the whole series. I was actually sad to see him die at the end. I was genuinely sort of like, oh. I wanted to see him develop and go further and, and try and conquer. And, and it, it was just such an interesting character. He had so many layers and just so much depth to him that I was genuinely sad to see him go. But oh my God, that might be one of my favorite scenes in anime. Just from start to finish, when Asgard gets up and starts on the king, I did not think he was gonna swipe his head off, but when he did, my jaw was genuinely on the floor. To then Asgard going on a murderous rampage as people try and stop him and just absolutely no one can. And it was a beautiful moment in a way to see the development of Canute from this shy kid who doesn't want to even talk to someone who's got the power to put his own dog down and knows and understands what he has to do and what his place in all of this is. I, I, it was just such a full circle moment of so many different characters and things going on. To the pain of Thorfinn seeing his one and only goal in life for probably since he can remember now, just fading away right in front of him. And it's this whole question of how are you going to live your life now? How are you going to live knowing that you failed at your only mission? And now it's what, what, what have you got? What do you do? He was so overly consumed by it that he couldn't even beat Askeladd. And even Askeladd tells him that the reason you keep losing is because you get so filled with rage that you just lose all sense of any skill. He was so dead set on completing this one task that it almost made him fail the task. And then when it's gone, it's, it's like, well, now what? What do you do with your life now that you don't have that one goal? It's such an interesting concept and it's something very deep and, and something to think on quite a lot, which obviously, I've just got done watching My Hero Academia and yeah, all the characters in there are very much like role models and, and things like that, but 
this show is just on a deeper level and deeper meaning of thinking about life. It genuinely made me think about things like uh, one of my only ever goals in life is to do well on YouTube and, and just keep grinding at it. And I genuinely start like sat and thought, well, what if one day YouTube just went down as a platform? What would I do with my life? Where would I be? What would I spend my time doing? It, it, like it made me have a bit of an existential think and ponder what I'm doing with my life and and for that the scene at the end is is just one of the best scenes that I've seen in anime the animation of villain saga just throughout I mean as well oh my god the music both go just so hand in hand to create something like art it is just stunning some of the scene shots and the sunrises and the wheat blowing and the fields and 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 is it gruesome at times? Yes. Some of the shots in the show are disgusting and brutal and just like people murdering each other. And yet you have this other contrast where there's some beautiful piano pieces in the background while the sunset's coming up over like amazing looking British landscapes and, and whales or so well crafted. I um, I'm in love with this show from, from start to finish. I loved it and I can't wait to get into season two. I'm starting it now. Um, and I'll let you know <laughs> once I'm finished with season two how I feel about that one as well. I'm so interested to see where Thorfinn goes and hopefully he can find peace. But anyway, let me know what did you think of Vinland Saga season one and I will see you next time on the Anime Club.